Welcome back, friends. This is where you at, bro. Here to bring to you another workout. And today, we're working out chest, shoulders, and arms, but with bands. Let's go. All right, guys, to kick this whole workout out for today, we're doing band press and then skull crushes. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, for band press, you have two options on creating this type of angle. One, you can use a door anchor. That's one option. Or you can have something like I have, which is my whole machine here. But the only thing I need here is this bar here. So. Have that become midway. Now a couple cues here. A couple cues. What we want to do first is make sure that our core is tight because right now we have the bands pulling us backwards and we need to keep ourselves stabilized and pushing forward or try to have ourselves standing straight up. So that's the first thing we're working on is core. It's causing us to keep our core engaged and keep us standing up straight. Next thing is you want to have your shoulders out and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press, press forward towards pretty much you. So when we're doing this, make sure at the top of the movement we're squeezing our chest. All right, so let's go. fam good job so now we're moving on to skull crushers now with this one you're gonna need a lighter band which I have changed my green band out for we're trying to mimic the skull crusher movement as close as possible now you have two options you can use your anchor your door anchor or you can do it on a on a uh, pole so this is what I'm getting ready to use is the pole for this one all right so let's go ahead and get it set up have it somewhere high there you go Okay, a couple cues. One, core tight because we have the band again pulling you backwards. So we wanna to try to keep ourselves forward or as straight up as possible. Next thing, keep your elbows up. Elbows up and elbows in. We're not gonna flare out. We're gonna have elbows down. We're gonna have them up, all right? So let's go ahead and um, do the movement now. guys now we're moving on to our next two movements the first one is incline band press and then tricep kickback all right so let's go ahead and hit it all right guys so for incline band press one again you have two options you can use your door anchor or you can find a bar somewhere low that way you have that angle as hitting an incline uh, dumbbell press or incline bench press, we're at an angle, a slope going upwards. So let's make sure we have something of that effect. So if you're putting this on a door, put it down low. If you're just uh, looping it around a pole or something that's giving you the option to do it, make sure it's low. All right, so let's get ahead and set it up. Okay, now that I have myself set up, you already know what I'm getting ready to say, core engage to keep yourself from being pulled backwards. Next thing is, we're gonna have the bands um, pushed at an angle, not straight ahead, but at an angle going up. All right, so this is kind of tough, so here we go, let's try it.
So we're moving on to tricep kick back. You already know the two options, so I'm not gonna bother saying that. So let's go ahead and get started on this movement now. All right, set it up. All right, so here. Wanna keep our feet shoulder width apart. We wanna keep our abs engaged. We want to bend over, we want to keep our elbows next to our side, and then from there we're just moving from our wrist to our elbows towards you. So ready? Let's go. to the next two so for the first one is close grip band bench and then we're doing a regular band curl all right try to say close grip band bench twice that's kind of hard it's a tongue twister but anyway let's go ahead and hit those two movements all right all right so we're moving on to close grip band bench let's get started The difference here in a regular bench or using the band is we're going to have our arms come as close as possible. So what I initially want you to do is try to get your elbows to go inward. Think of it like this. You want your elbows to touch each other. Now, that's impossible to do as far as I know, but that's the idea behind that way we're activating our chest and our chest is doing all the work. Also, core engage. Yes, core you want your core engaged to keep you stabilized. All right, so let's go ahead and go. you want to do is here you want to put either one or both your feet into the band or on top of the band that's the starting position and from there we're going to have our band i like to do it this way because it's keeping our um bicep engaged the entire movement so i'd like to keep it up here um also keep your core tight to keep you stabilized and then we'll go from there guys good job for hitting those last two so what we're doing is band shoulder press and then we're doing wide grip upright row all right so let's go and hit it now all right so we're doing band shoulder press so you have two ways of doing this you can use a door anchor which you need to play slow or for this one you can put your feet on top of the band just like when we're doing a regular band curl same thing either use one or both of your feet so I'm using one for this one. 
You see, I changed my band on this, so I have the pink one. It's a lighter weight. Um, I can use the green one, but for this, I'm not. So what you're gonna do is keep your core engaged because once you put the band by your side, it's gonna try to uh, pull you down. So just to keep yourself engaged, keep yourself straight up, go ahead and flex your core. All right, so hands go up beside you. Hands go up beside you. And after that, we just start pushing upwards. All right, ready? Let's go. Just like we're doing band curls, I have both my feet inside of the band or on top of the band. And we want to try to mimic a wide um, positioning for our arms. So I'm going to have it out here. It's, kind of, it's going to be kind of hard because we don't have a bar that is um, giving you the ability to keep it wide by itself. So you're going to have to use your imagination and think of what is wide to you. It's got to be wider than shoulder width apart. All right, so wider than usual. All right, so we're wide and we're going to bring it up. chest, shoulders, and arms. This is week four through six for this program. If you haven't done so already, give me a thumbs up, as well as hit the subscribe button down below, leave a comment, and share the video with somebody else. If you're looking for the first three weeks of this program, check this one out right here. As always, this is where you at, bro. Sign Ning out. Peace. See you in the next workout. Mm -hmm.